All right, this is a replication of a Dr. Stifler experiment that uh, he did a ways back, and uh, he just reposted the video of it. And uh, I had the part, so I thought I'd go ahead and try to replicate it, and I did. Um, it's not exact, um, but I'm thinking it's close enough to uh, what he had in mind to call this a real replication. And in the video, he has a 110-volt nightlight bulb suspended in a beaker of water with aluminum foil around the beaker and on one side he had a SEC 15-3 and on the other side he had a SEC 15-3 and I'm going to use a SEC 18-8 uh, 18X. Uh, doctor I think this is appropriate it works just fine. Um, he did drive them on 22 volts I'm just going to use 12 so my bulb isn't going to be very bright but I think it's going to show the point and the point is, what he's going to do, uh, what he showed, what I'm going to do is, you turn on one of these secs, it's not connected to the bulb. The bulb is connected to the other sec. But there is a capacitive link be between this particular side, through that aluminum foil in the water, to the bulb, back to the second sec, and it turns it on, even though it's not connected to the power source. And I thought that was very, very interesting. And it makes the bulb come on. Now, when you connect the second sec up, in his video, this came on very, very bright. And I can't do that because I don't have the proper voltage. But uh, I can show, show the effect. So let me turn this on. I'm going to connect the 15. Now, first off, you notice that. This isn't connected. This is disconnected. And that SEC 18 right there, I believe, is running. Now, this is a tester right here. And the bulb is glowing. In the camera, that appears to be purple. That's the ultraviolet. <clears throat> it's actually an orange color in uh, real, real life, but uh, it's a purple color. Now, Doctor, on your video, I don't think you had a wire connected to the other side. I had to do that here. It just lays down there, and I, f I believe it forms some kind of a ground path. I don't know, but um, I couldn't get it to work on this bulb unless I did that. Other bulbs I tried, it was uh, this. It was more spectacular, but with this 110-volt, 2-watt uh, bulb, um, I had to do that with my setup. Now, remember, this sec. 18 here is the one that's connected to the bulb. The SEC 15 is connected through a coil L3 to the aluminum foil. So there's a capacitive coupling. But this was the second part of the video that he showed is now I'm going to turn the 18 on over here. Watch the filament on the bulb. There it goes brighter. Now, in his video, this just lit up the whole glass of water because he was running it on 22 volts. But you can see the differential between the first and the second when I put the second sec on this. And uh, I thought this was fascinating. <clears throat> and I became very interested in sec way back. The first time I saw a 110-volt filament light bulb being lit up off one wire. And it's one thing to light up a little LED. It's another thing to light up a filament bulb, especially a 110-volt filament bulb, on one wire. Now, granted, this has a somewhat of a ground path here. Um, on the experiment that I did that I got hooked on sec with, it was just hanging out in free air. And I thought that was really something. So I've been interested in sec ever since that first experience with this. So anyway, doctor, I, I consider this a replication of uh, your experiment. Now let me unhook the 15 here. Watch the bulb. There goes the bulb down. Now it's running on the SEC 18. It's hooked up right here, but the bulb isn't as bright. So there is a relationship, a capacitive link between that SEC there and that SEC there. Turn the 15 on again here. And there goes the bulb brighter again. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my little show here. And the doctor, I hope you consider this adequate for a replication. I think it does validate your point. Thanks for watching.